Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we will be talking about River Valley Projects of India which are also called as Multipurpose Projects. In India there is always an inconsistency of the availability of water. In some regions there is excessive water and during the rainy season it mostly floods. And there are some regions of India which always has lack of water. None of the rivers of India is confined to a single state. So we need to have an integrated system or a cooperation between different states which are sharing water in order to control floods as well as for irrigating lands. Excessive water from areas which are having flood can be transferred and stored for those regions which have a need for water by extensive network of canals. Therefore, a lot of emphasis has been put on the river valley project so that water can be stored and utilized in those areas which require it the most and also to check floods. These river valley projects have also helped in production of cheap hydroelectricity. Therefore, these river valley projects are also called as multi-purpose projects because they fulfill various purposes and help in the progress and development of the country. Now let's talk about Bhakra Nangal project. This project was commissioned in 1948. It is the largest multi-purpose project of India located in Himachal Pradesh. The Bhakra Dam is constructed across the Bhakra Gorge in the Shivaliks around 80 kilometers north of Ambala city and the Nangal Dam is located 13 kilometers downstream from the Bhakra Dam. Behind the Bhakra Dam there is a very large reservoir to store excessive water and this is called as Govind Sagar Lake. This is created with a storage capacity of 9868 million cubic meters. Now this project has reduced the occurrence of floods and its devastations along the river Satlaj. It has also increased production of food grains as it has helped in irrigation of the fields. Various crops are grown and the production is multiplied like cotton, sugarcane, oil seeds, pulses, wheat as well as various kinds of millets as well as tobacco. Under this project, there are four powerhouses located at Bhakra, Ganguwal, Nangal and Kotla. These powerhouses produce hydroelectricity. It has a capacity of 1204 megawatts of hydroelectricity. The electricity which is produced here is supplied to Punjab, Haryana and parts of Rajasthan as well as Delhi. This electricity which is produced here has helped Haryana to obtain 100% rural electrification as well as it also helps for industrialization, agricultural purposes and domestic use. The second most important project is Damodar Valley Project (DVC) or Damodar Valley Cooperation. This was the first multi-purpose project which was undertaken in India soon after independence. Damodar Valley Project operates on river Damodar which is government owned power generator and this area covers Bengal and Jharkhand. The other name of Damodar river was river of sorrow because every year the river changed its course and was continuously flooding. The floods became very very disastrous and it was very difficult to control them. Because of the Damodar Valley project, this river has been converted into a river of plenty as agricultural prosperity has been brought into this region. Various kinds of crops like rice, maize, pulses, sugar cane, tea, tobacco and oil seeds grow. There are four dams which are constructed at Maithon, Konar, Talaya and Panchet. These are also hydro power stations except for Konar Dam. These hydro power stations have a capacity of producing 1181 megawatts of hydroelectricity which is a cheap hydroelectricity of this region. Damodar Valley project has also made river Damodar navigable up to 136 kilometers and enables cheap transportation across. Especially it connects the industries like the heavy industries, electrochemical industries and coal mines of this region. 
Now let's talk about Rihan Valley project which is a very important multi-purpose project of Uttar Pradesh along the Son River. Now this Rihan dam is built across the river Rihan which is a tributary of Son River. The Rihan River is a non-perennial river. In the monsoon seasons it widens and flows very swiftly and in the summer seasons it's mostly dry. Behind the dam, there is also a very large reservoir called Govind Vallabh Pansagar Lake. This lake is the largest artificial reservoir of Asia, as an area of 468 square kilometers. There is only one hydro power station which is located at Pimpuri, which is at the foot of the dam. It produces around 100,000 kilowatts of hydroelectricity. This project has helped in irrigating the adjoining agricultural lands of Uttar Pradesh and also has helped in rapid progress in industrialization of this region which is also rich in mineral wealth and also provides with cheap hydroelectricity. Now let's talk about a very important river valley project which is called as Narmada Valley project and the other name is Sardar Sarovar project which is on Narmada river. This is one of the largest projects which is implemented anywhere in this world. This project is sponsored by the states of Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Rajasthan. All these states share the water of Narmada. This project is still under construction. It has only finished up to 98%. Only the main dam is built across the Narmada river. The rest is incomplete. This project has been named after Sardar Vallabhai Panth and the plan was obtained or conceived in 1946. This was a foundation for the Narmada Valley project and it was laid down in 1961. The construction started from 1987 onwards. This project has also faced the Narmada Bachao Andolan NBA because the people who used to stay near the river valley they were not rehabilitated properly as well as the environmental damages which has been caused because of the construction of this huge dam. River Narmada originates from Amar Kantak in Madhya Pradesh. It's a huge river and this project is basically to harness the water of this mighty Narmada.